Shoe String Jane and welcome back to my channel where it's Vlogmas. Vlogmas day nine. And today I'm just gonna show you some of my quite chilled morning that I've had and some of my not very chilled day that I had yesterday. Um, yesterday I spent the day with my daughter helping her get her old flat ready for the inspection because she's moved into a new flat but she still retained the lease on the old one for a few weeks so she had time it's quite nice actually she had time to take her time and get the new flat sorted out and then go and clean and sort out the old flat but there was one issue with her old flat which was that she had had a little accident with a lighter so she had a lighter and she'd lit a cigarette put it down on the kitchen counter gone to the toilet came back and the lighter had just kind of combusted and exploded and was literally a light so obviously she put that out as quickly as she could, but it left a really big burn hole in the kitchen worktop. So because landlords and agents, obviously they go around, they do an inventory, they do an inspection to check for this kind of damage and they will charge you for any damage that you've done. So we decided that rather than pay for the cost of a new worktop, we would try some vinyl. I've seen lots of people doing this, using stick on vinyl on kitchen work surfaces and we thought much cheaper option let's give it a go um, and I, I think it looked quite good i'll show you us doing that the eagle-eyed amongst you noticed that i scheduled yesterday's video really really early because i knew it was going to be a really busy day so i'd filmed it the day before and scheduled it and i think i did it for 3 45 a.m gmt rather than p.m which is my usual time so my brain was clearly a bit addled i'd been to my book club Christmas party the night before which was really good fun I really really enjoyed it we had all sorts of food I showed you in a vlog from yesterday or the day before I can't remember now it's the blending into each other um that I made a kind of cheese slice thing cheese potato and onion in pastry um, and that went down really a treat but the nicest thing I thought was a, a salad that I made which was Stilton walnut and apple with kind of green salad leaves and a nice dressing. It was really fresh and really delicious. I'm definitely making that for my Boxing Day buffet, I've decided. That was really nice. It went really, really well. Really enjoyed the evening, but it did mean that I had a bit of a Prosecco headache to do the DIY with Becky yesterday. Uh, we did, as well, I'm sort of going back to her now. Um, we did finish off her old flat, we cleaned it, and then we went back to her new flat and did the one wall that we had not got round to finishing previously. So we did that as well, gave it one coat of the gray paint. And we, everything still needs a second coat, but it's gonna have to wait, wait till after Christmas now. Anyway, today is the 9th of December, Saturday the 9th of December. It's a very, very wet day. You can probably hear the rain. It's actually throwing itself against the window pane. It's really cold and really wet. So, I'm glad I'm not doing the dog walk this morning. That's Justin's job today. So it's the 9th of December. We are supporting Tommy's charity on the Advent of Change calendar. Um, I've heard of Tommy's. Today you've helped parents hear the sound of their long-awaited baby's heartbeat for the first time at a specialist clinic. Is Tommy's something to do with premature babies? I'll have to look that up and put it in the, the link uh, below in the description. So that's a good one anyway. So that's today's advent calendar. I forgot to introduce my little gonk. My little gonk. I do like a gonk and the girls always laugh at me because they say I say gonk and I think I say gonk but <laughs> they say oh look Jane it's a gonk. They call me Jane. Um, so they bought me a Christmas gonk last year. So anyway I was shattered last night and I thought today I'll give myself a nice easy morning. So I got up, had a really lovely deep bath I did a tiny bit of cleaning, not very much. Um, and then I did some yoga and I had a really healthy breakfast and I'm gonna eat low carb today because it definitely helps me at a low carb breakfast. I'm gonna have a nice vegetable soup for lunch, which I'm gonna make when I finished making this video. And then tonight for tea, we've got pork chops and I'll just have vegetables and maybe make a kind of cheesy topping for the pork chops. So that will be a quite a high fat, but a low carb day for us today. So sometimes you just need a day of self-care and there'll be no alcohol today either it's the other the other thing anyway let's get on with the video oh let's start the day with a really nice bath because i feel quite achy after the decorating is today i lit a candle because why not 
I put a load of Epsom salts in as well as bubbles so that um, it helps me with my achiness. Start today and the way you need to go on. Because I'm so achy today, I'm just going to do some really gentle things where I just loosen and go through all my joints. So I start with a few shoulder rolls, just a few in each direction. And this is what I find. It's a really like a gentle practice that I do. I'm going to go through a whole practice to show you a few things that I do. And my hands are a little arthritic now. And they're definitely worse when I've been eating lots of carbs, which I have been. I'm not going to completely cut out carbs now until after Christmas because it's just too difficult. And I, I give in to temptation, I have no willpower actually. I have to make sure there's no chocolate in the house or bread or I eat it. <laughs> so I have to hide it from myself and that's difficult at Christmas, isn't it? I'm just working through my wrist and then I just gently go through my finger joints. Just pull them backwards. So if you get arthritic hands, these are just simple things to do or shoulders. And then I'm just doing my wrists, so down and then up again, down and up again. And then turn the hands over and go the other way. So you're keeping your elbows parallel on your upper arms, parallel to the floor. And then keep your shoulders there, bring your elbows together and rotate round. Oh, this is a really nice one because I did the painting yesterday at Becky's house. This is kind of nice because my arms and my shoulders feel a bit tense. We didn't do that much painting actually, but we did do loads of work. We did cleaning and all sorts, getting her flat ready. And then I'm going to move on to my neck. So I'm just looking up and looking down. Be careful of neck rolls. I wouldn't do like neck rolls. I don't think they're very good for your neck. These movements have the same effect without actually rolling the neck. Then you look from one side to the other side, to the other side. And because I had a real problem with a, my neck, I had a problem with a disc in my upper back a few years ago and I had a trapped nerve and oh, it's in agony. This is one that the physio showed me. It's a really simple one, but it's it's just, um, it's quite effective. So you pull your arm out and you, your um, ear goes towards your shoulder, just in course this little teapot. It's nice and slow, about five of those. It's a really small movement. I mean, if you're a gym bod, you'll probably think these movements weren't worth doing or just a warm up. But for me, having been diagnosed with fibromyalgia, I find, and having arthritis as well, I find these kind of movements really good. They loosen everything up. And then I'm going to just have a few good breaths. So I'm breathing out. I'm having a good stretch and I've come up on my toes as well. And then I'm breathing out slowly. Normally I wouldn't talk through this, obviously. <laughs> do one more. But you can do up to 10 of those, that's nice. And then I'm just taking my hands behind me. And have a good stretch backwards. And I'm not going to show you my whole yoga practice because it's not a yoga channel. So I'll go off and do the rest of it, come back to you afterwards. So this is these are the ingredients for my standard low carb breakfast. I have Greek yogurt. I have 10% fat because you want fat. Because if you don't have carbs and you have low fat, then you're just permanently hungry. So this stops me from getting hungry. So I have 10% fat, proper Greek yogurt, not Greek style yogurt. I'm going to have some berries. So I'm having blueberries. And then I'm going to have some nuts. And there's almonds and walnuts in this jar. Some coconut flakes some sunflower seeds and some pumpkin seeds. I'll sprinkle those on and then I'll have a nice cup of tea with it, followed later on by a little bit of apple juice. That's not very low carb, but needs using up with a big spoonful of organic apple cider vinegar. That's the plan. Wash these first. Not too many chemicals on the blueberries. 
I need to order some sunflower seeds. I'm going to add that to my list in a minute. <coughs> I usually get them from Buy Whole Foods online because I got fed up with buying little tiny packets. Same with the, all the other ingredients here, really. Apart from the nuts, I get nuts from Little or Aldi because they're, they're cheaper, much cheaper. So all these tend to be organic, just stuff from buy whole foods online, which I do like to buy some organic food, but my budget doesn't allow everything to be organic. If I was rich, I would buy everything organic, for sure. But this is a bit of an indulgent breakfast, really, because these ingredients aren't particularly cheap, but... Um, I just they just make me feel so much better, so that'll do. So it's a worthwhile indulgence. Bon appetit. So I bought this neat plastic free concentrated refill anti back glass and mirror cleaner a while back. And you just have to you find an old bottle, so I've got one handed, usual palava. An old elbow grease one, which is doubtless full of nasty chemicals. Um, and I just have to mix this in with water. So 470 meter, uh, millilitres of tap water. Okay. Okay then. Okay, so it's in a little glass bottle. It smells like... It smells... Nice. I don't know what Yuzu tea is supposed to smell like, but this is a 500 milliliter bottle, so I'm guessing by the time I've put this in and filled it up, that'll be about right. So this is called Neat. I've never used it before, and yes, I'm. Oh, it's not going to work. Is it? Let's go to the bath. So I've never used it before, and I know that I can use vinegar, and I often do use vinegar. But I thought I would try this. I'm going to go and fill it up from the bath. There you go. It's all ready to go. So as far as anyone else is concerned, that's just made with elbow grease window cleaner. It smells a lot nicer than elbow grease, I have to say. I bought this elbow grease when I was doing cleaning for other people because, you know, they don't always like their houses smelling of vinegar. So I've finished it off now. Let's try this one. That's not sparkling. I guess that's more to do with my technique than anything else, but it looks all right to me. <laughs> so we're in the process of redoing the kitchen unit with this final from B and Q. It's going to look all right. I'll show you when it's finished. First bit done. I think it looks really good. Not bad at all. But now we've got the awkward bits to do, like for example this. but it's going to be the challenge. So this is what we've done so far and it looks pretty good apart from when we did the sink. It was just too difficult to do this in one go. So we've got to do one strip along here which is a pain but there's nothing else to it. It's only good we've got to look good enough for the inspection and it does. I'm doing all the hard work. This is doing the filming. You asked me to. <laughs> so that's today. I will be back for tomorrow, the 10th of December. Don't forget to like and subscribe and then you'll get a notification when my video comes up. See you. Bye for now.